On December 20th, 2021, at 11.02 a.m. local time, a new explosive eruption began at the Hunga Tonga Hunga Haapai volcano in the nation of Tonga. As this primarily submarine volcano is just above sea level, the active vents interaction with seawater create a spectacular type of explosive eruption referred to as a Circean eruption. It is named that way because the term originated from researchers watching the island-forming eruption of Circe in Iceland. Now, the term is used to describe the vast majority of very shallow submarine volcanic eruptions. Note, for example, the similar nature of this August 2021 eruption of Fukutoku Okanoba in Japan. At Hunga Tonga, eruptive activity over a period of 13 days produced multicolored black and white plumes that dispersed over the islands. These two islands, which represent edges of a submarine caldera, became interconnected only in 2014 during a previous eruption. In both eruptions, individual pyroclastic flows traveled more than a kilometer distant in some locations, and alongside falling ash, it added additional superheated layers of ash to the volcano, expanding the overall island. For comparison, here is the volcano on December 3rd of 2021 before the eruption, and here it is today on January 2nd of 2022. In merely two weeks, the island nearly doubled in size as it added an additional 2.21 square kilometers or 546 acres of land. While it was initially thought that the same vent erupted as the 2014-2015 eruption, this was later proven to be incorrect. In contrast, the older crater was filled in by ash while a new vent and volcanic crater emerged a mere 550 meters to the northeast. The reason for this vent's rounded shape is due to the numerous explosions which occurred in it that carved out a near-circular crater. Over the recorded history of this volcano, no single vent has erupted twice, and this eruption continued that trend, bringing the total number of known vents to five. While the island did truly expand, in all likelihood the majority of this new land will be reclaimed by the ocean in the next 12 months, as layers of ash are very prone to erosion. See, for example, how quickly the island eroded after the previous eruption from 2014 to 2015. While the eruption is still technically ongoing, I have been unable to verify any explosive activity with a distinguishable plume since January 2nd. Sulfur dioxide emissions have also decreased, meaning that the eruption may truly have ended. While earlier plumes of ash traveled high enough into the atmosphere to disrupt regional air traffic, in the last few days this has not occurred. With this being said, eruptive activity could resume again at any time, so I recommend that airlines stay at least 50 kilometers away from the volcano if not further. Although eruptive activity has seemingly ended, there was an interesting large earthquake to the west of the volcano on January 4th. It registered as a magnitude 5.0 and occurred deep in the upper mantle. While this may not initially seem too notable, I have seen these types of earthquakes occur right before and after an explosive eruption occurs. I have been unable to truly explain why these earthquakes occur in the vicinity of an explosive eruption seemingly far away from a volcano. They tend to register in at between magnitudes 4.5 and 6, and I have witnessed them occur during the 2021 eruptions of both La Soufre and La Palma. It could simply be a coincidence, but I thought this was noteworthy. In summary, while the eruption has indeed paused and possibly ended, it could resume at any moment, so please avoid the vicinity around Hunga Tonga Hunga Haapai. Thanks for watching. If you would like to request a specific topic, please leave a comment below. Additionally, I would like to thank my new patron Destiny for supporting this channel.